Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to kind of a car build slash drift build on um, R Factor. But yeah, quick little update. Um, at the moment, not really enjoying Forza 5 at the moment. Um, I don't really want to play it. I'm kind of having a break. Um, when I play it, I just get so annoyed. Um, the online, there's no community. Um, the career mode, uh, not too bad. I don't mind playing that. But in terms of online, it's absolutely terrible in terms of community. Uh, even when you go into an online points lobby, even like the simple factor of stopping at the line, waiting for everyone else to come, and then finish the race. That's not even there anymore. It's a race to the finish line, and people pulling out F1 cars, pulling out whatever you want, like all these crazy cars um, just racing to the end. It kind of takes the whole fact of that game out for me. And it's just not enjoyable to play. Um, I've been drifting on it for a while, and I just, I'm just not enjoying it. Uh, like coming onto R Factor, I've realised how, how much. Um, what's the way to put it? Uh, there's racing games out there that are a lot better in terms of physics. Um, R Factor is probably one of the best, other than um, what's it, Live for Speed or something like that. I haven't tried that yet. I will try that soon. Um, but yeah, that's. That's pretty much an update quickly, I just wanted to tell you that I don't expect too many Forza videos, I might make one or two, um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not really enjoying that game at the moment, so expect a lot more R Factor, uh, FIFA, other games uh, that I enjoy playing, uh, that's the main thing, I want to I want to upload games that I enjoy playing, that's the main, main aspect I guess, uh, so yeah, this is the R32 that I have been drifting non-stop. Uh, it's a really nice car, really like drifting it, uh, it's got some nice angle, some nice speed to it, so I guess it's time for a new car, so I don't really know what to make, um, RX-7 would be cool, 240SX, let's have a look, I downloaded a few cars off uh, JDM Factor, so like version 2, a little bit more updated um, physics to it I think so let's see what this looks like version 2 might as well go for it might as well go for a 240SX uh, just have a quick look through and see if there's any in S13 that could be quite cool let's have a quick look at S13 and see what it looks like Come on, load then. There we go. Um, could be pretty sick. Um, let's go for it. Let's go for a Nissan S13, I guess. Uh, that was the street version. Uh, what's this? Nissan Silvia S13. So this is just going to be a normal version. That looks a lot better. Let's go for that. Uh, so that's... Okay, apparently I already own it. Okay, let's, let's sell it, and then buy it. Okay. Skins, grey, orange, purple. What? So many colours. So much colours. Yellow? Ooh, yellow looks quite... Two-tone. Ah, oh, yes, give me some two-tone. Gold? Lime green, oh my days. Oh, okay, red and black. Red and black. Oh, my days. Look at that. That is insane. Okay, so let's get on to upgrades. It says I've already got some upgrades, but it's pretty weird. I can't even remember making this car, so it's probably for a long time when I installed it a long time ago. But let's try and get some nice wheels. I kind of like the wheels that are on it already. You know, Koenig laces. They do suit the car quite nice. Um work a little bit too deep I've got those on my R32 but they really suit the S13 a little bit uh, let's have a quick look at something else oh there we go work equip 03 they look very nice okay let's not have any of those T37s don't really suit an S13 to be honest uh, 
BBS. See, that really goes with it. Some nice BBS. XR4 Deep Dish. Some more dish. Oh my days. There's dish everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna. Those BBS, I really like the look of those though. But let's, let's go for the ones that I said earlier. I forgot what it is now. Them. Work equip. 03 black. So buy that. And head down. And rear rims. Buy exactly the same. Where are they? Where are they? I can't see them. Right here. <laughs> Am I blind? I think I might be. <laughs> so anyway. Scroll down. Front bumper. Stock plus lip. Oh, that's very nice. KS stock. See, I kind of like that with the number plate, though. But the lip is very nice. Uh, KS stock type B. I uh, don't really like the nothing bumpers. Kind of looks a little bit too drift missile -y. Even though that's, that is the aim of this game, but... I'm going to go for the one with the lip. There we go side skirt stock nothing in stock what what's the difference okay that's a tiny bit tiny bit I'm gonna go nothing type A to, uh, it's a little bit too much oh that's not type D Let's go for that. Let's go for type D. Okay, rear bumper. Type A. B. C. Hopefully D. Uh, don't like the way it kind of comes out, if you know what I mean. Don't like that. Let's just stick with the stock for that, I guess. Uh, front fender. Oh, there's some fenders on here. Yeah. <coughs> Is there any way? I don't know if I can push like spaces or whatever. I don't know if there's that up that upgrade on here. So fenders kind of define the whole point. Okay. Oh well. Uh, maybe on tires. Maybe. Nope. Okay. So let's not do fenders. Uh, seeing as there's no. It's got a nice fitment with that anyway, so. Rear fender, I won't need that. What the fuck? Okay. Bonnet. Stock carbon. Kinda goes with the black kind of. Uh, black kind of edge. That looks really weird with the red underneath. And nothing. I really like it bonnetless, but I don't know. I really don't know. Or with a carbon, yeah, let's go with carbon. I really do like it bonnetless, but I don't want all my cars to be bonnetless. If you know what I mean. I don't want everyone to look the same. Um, but yeah, we got to go with the stock drill uh, B pillar. Oh shit. Carbon. And chrome. Not chrome. Stock and carbon look the same, there's no point changing that. Corner lens. Clear. It's really clear. No, it's not. Uh, let's just clear that. Makes no difference, but let's clear it. Um, tail. Clear smoke. Smoke goes really well with the car. But then I really like just the stock lights. Alright, let's go. Let's just go to stock lights. Uh, strobe. What strobe? Ah, oh, it's lights. Let's not put that on. It lags everyone out on offline, so online should I say. Really like the upgrades on this S13. There's so many. Is that stock? That is stock. What the fuck? Bricks look a lot better to me. Oval? Nah, that looks completely wrong. Um, let's go with bricks. Okay, emblem. 
What the fuck? What the fuck's the emblem? Oh, okay. It, like, debadges it, I guess. Does look a lot cleaner, to be fair. Let's take that off. Okay, roof spoiler. Ah, there. No. No, let's not do that. Real wing. <laughs> Does look very good. Um, D-wing, de should I say? Type A, type B. There's going to be some huge one. There we go. <laughs> what is that? Spoilers don't seem to suit S13s in my opinion. So That one's quite nice though. Nice kind of height to it. It really suits the car. That, like That takes the whole kind of thing back. But... What was that F? Let's go G. No. Let's just keep it D-winged. It looks really nice D-winged. Okay, exhaust. I want to make this look nice and big. Type A, type B. Ooh. Nah, let's not do that. Type B short. Oh my god. Type C. That looks very nice. HKS Magnaflow. Yes, we're all about that wonky exhaust life. Number plate rear. Deep degree. No. Steering wheel. Let's just make it purple. Why not? Okay, engine. Normally put about 520 PS. Um, I don't know what that translates into horsepower, but it just seems to work for me. So Let's put the Honinger sequential box on. Brembo brakes, I guess. Might as well. D1 GP steer ratio. Real fuel settings. Yep. And tyres. We want to stick with a Project D. So that's pretty much the car build there. Um, I don't really have a tune. I just kind of drift the cars pretty much stock. But that car is looking really, really nice. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it so much. There you go. There's a nicer look at the car. Let's spin it around. Wow, those seats look epic. What make are those seats? Wow, I really like that car. Oh my god, that's epic. Look, the number plate's there. I didn't even notice. The number plate is... Oh my god. How did I not know that? Things like that on this game, that's what gets me. Simple, but yet amazing modifications like that. That's what Forza lacks to me. A um, little bit of this. Uh, the seats look amazing. Purple steering wheel. Damn, this car's looking fine for me. Looking fine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, something a little bit different on a game that I'm going to be playing a lot more. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.